hi viewers and welcome back to my youtube channel this is hp fashions we'll be learning on how to make a smooth tool structure strap sleeve so if you find this video very helpful don't forget to like and subscribe okay so i'll be taking the length of for my crinoline i'll be using the length of 28 and a half all right i'll be using the length of 28 and a half then i'll fold into two then cut I'll go ahead and cut it out then divide that 28 and a half again into two remember I folded it into two I'll go ahead and divide it into two this time around so after I've divided it in, uh, into two I'll go ahead and join it because I want it to be a bit wide I'll go ahead and join the middle all right so for this my crinoline I measured the wideness is about two and half inches wide all right that's why i'm joining it now all right so i place half inch on top of half inch to do this joining then i sew right at the top of it so once i get to the end of it i'll go ahead and stitch then take off my excess thread all right so i won't be stopping right there at this point now i'll go ahead and introduce my sewable bone to this to give it structure and to make it firm okay so i'll be leaving a wideness of about half an inch from the beginning all right i won't start my sewing from the beginning i'll leave about half an inch for this then i will sew right at the tip of the bone of the sewable bone all right so i'll be sewing right at the tip of it okay so i'll actually sew this slowly because you know it's a bit it's it's actually a bone and it might not be as flexible or as silky as fabric all right so i'll be taking it gradually until i almost get to the end all right once i almost get to the end i will have to cut it out leaving about half inch spacing at the end side exactly the way i left for the front okay so this is it so once i get to this point now i'll go ahead and stitch my uh, stitch it and turn my machine to the other side then sew exactly the way i did for the first line of my sewable bone okay so i will sew it all the way down you need to take this slowly so that your thread won't cut just the way my thread just did okay so i'll go ahead and fix it back then continue my sewing all right yeah that's the issue with hard bone or if your machine can sew this without thread cotton then go ahead and do it all right so at this point now i've gotten to the end of it and i've stitched it i'll go ahead and take off all the excess thread right because of course i would like a neat work so this is it this is what we have at this point now so i'll go ahead and make two another one of this i'll go ahead and make it two it's actually meant to be two all right but for this this is what we have now all right so at this point now this is it i'll go ahead and measure my the wideness of this so the wide the wideness is actually given three and a half inches it's actually given three and a half point two inches it's not even up to four all right so this is it all right so and the length is actually given 28 and a half inches still the same all right so at this point now i'll go ahead and get my fabric folded into two all right so i use the fabric wideness of about fabric wideness of about 4.2 all right so i folded it into, into two to get the middle and ironed it so at this point now i'll be placing my crinoline atta with attached bone on top of the folded fabric then i will sew right at the tip i will sew right at the tip of this all right so i folded my fabric into two to get 4.2 all 
all right so you can actually fold, spread yours open to get or you fold it okay but this is exactly how i did i folded it into two and i located the middle then i got the wideness then the length i actually used 29 instead of 28 and half okay so i'll just sew all the way down till i get to the end of this all right yeah so after sewing i'll take off my excess thread then i'll have to sew till i get to the end of it okay so i actually folded this into two and ironed the middle to get the middle line to make sure that everything about this is perfect so i'm done sewing now go ahead and turn all the way up from this opening i'll go ahead and turn it up from this opening i'll make sure i turn it up from this opening all right so when turning it up don't forget to adjust your crinoline to be on the right side of it because of course it might twist when you're turning it up so do not forget to adjust it well okay so the joining side will actually be on the side of it not on the middle so don't forget to arrange it properly that way okay so this is how i'm trying to arrange the crinoline inside because it's actually inside all right so i'm trying to arrange it properly while i turn up the structured strap all right so this is it all right so i'm just taking my time to make sure i turn this up the way it actually ought to be so i'll just turn it up after turning it up if everything is certain if i'm sure of everything i'll go ahead and give it a very nice press i'll still go ahead and give it a very very nice press okay but for now i've yet to iron it all right so this is what we have for now this is it this is how it looks like looking very smooth looking very nice right so this is it i've ironed it so i have my two strap sleeve at this at my structured strap all right so this is how it looks like for me it's actually looking very very smooth and actually flexible okay so after that if everything is done and we are done ironing we'll go ahead and attach it to our dress you can actually style this on any dress all right it mustn't be at the sleeve can put it on the down part of your dress you can make anything more like a bow or anything with this method of this strap structured okay so this is what we have looking very smooth and flexible all right so if you find this video very helpful don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel don't also forget to turn up your notification button all right see you in my next video bye